going to have a look at their kickoffs, going to have a look at their jackaling and also their offloading and have a look at some really basic ways of how we can look to counteract this when we play them this weekend. Um, a lot of what they do is kind of what Apache does, but they just do it slightly better. OK, so kick off first of all. Good. So as we can see here, the Samurai all look to kick. When they kick, they kick wide and they look for the outside player to be their main jumper on the ball. Now, what we have been trying to get you guys to do is a 5-2 system. So five at the front, two at the back. If we can have five at the front and they decide to kick long, that's great. It means that we're not going to be competed at in the back. So what I've done is kind of just drawn some arrows of where we should be. So we've got, as you can see, easy five at the front, two at the back. Now, if where the circle is here, where the ball's going to come down, this is the person competing for the ball. The person outside of them stays in line with them. The, the ball goes over their head. They're able to catch it. Or <clears throat> if we catch the ball, can clear the breakdown. If they catch the ball, can help make the tackle. The person on the inside, who's normally that player in the middle, they're going to shoot past the ball onto the samurai side. Okay. So if they jump up and hit it back, we look to try and get the 50-50 ball or tackle the person who gets the ball straight away. The person who's next across, your job is to shoot across the pit and kind of join that defensive line and be on just the inside of the person going for the ball. Okay. Person in the backfield, as soon as you see it going short, push up forwards that you're about six, seven metres from where the catch is being made, meaning that if we tap it back, you can get the ball in plenty of time and play, but also means that if they get the ball and break through, you're not giving them huge amounts of space before you make contact with them. OK, all of this is only possible if we decide to move when the ball's being kicked and identify where it's going. It's all about work rate. OK, so in this case, they drop it, ball goes back, Samurai gets it. And they're able to play their game. Second clip, same thing. Number eight goes for the ball, taps it back. They don't put the pressure on. Easy offload. They play and they go to the far edge of the pitch really easily and they play how they want to play. Next clip, same thing again. Outside players going for the ball. Gets the ball slightly. This inside player should be shooting here at this point. This is where I want you, on Samurai's side. Now, he doesn't shoot but does react quite quickly after the ball's gone, doesn't allow them to play. Next clip, same thing. They've gone for the ball. There's no real inside player here, so this is with Apache. Therefore, ball's gone back. They shoot through with the offload and get the turnover because of work rate. They're not in great places, but they've worked really hard there to get the turnover. This one is something just for us to have a think about. Just understanding the laws of the game. Kickoff's been made. Ball's gone into touch straight away. Things that we need to be aware of. Ball goes into touch from a kickoff. You've got the option of a free kick middle of the pitch. You have the option of kick again. Or you have the option of a line out. Okay. 100% of the time, everyone takes the free kick middle of the pitch. But you can take the line out. And what I want you to do is just have a look at these samurai guys here. So if we get the ball off the side of the pitch, we can throw it in anywhere between the halfway line and where we are. OK, so these players have turned their back, starting to go back slightly quick, but no real pace because every team's trying to get their ball to the middle of the pitch. OK, so we can just have it in our mind that it is an option that if they do kick it dead. That we take it here as soon as they turn quick throw and play. So, on to the next stage, so Jackal. What you see Samurai are very good at is after initial tackle has made the tackle, second person in goes straight for the ball. As you can see, the referees are pretty poor at saying, are people out the way, have people rolled. But as you can see, person on the floor has not done anything, and had a chance to move, and therefore that's kind of given a penalty straight away. Second one, we see the same thing. They're broken through, tackle made, got to his feet, gone for the ball. Now, what we need to do against them, regardless of how we fall, we jackknife, meaning we push our hips back towards their side and we push our shoulders and arms and ball away from them. 
if we do that, it means they can't just get up over the ball and go straight for it. So in this position here, hasn't had to move his feet, hands straight in on the ball. Whereas we jackknife, push our shoulders back, put our hands back, ball's going to fall around about here. They're going to have to move to be able to get it, which buys us time to be able to get support there. Really simple thing. You get tackled, work on the floor. Last part of what Samurai are quite good at is offloading, and this is all their players. There's two ways to counteract this. Number one, oh, sorry, three ways. Number one, hit them hard enough. The offload normally doesn't happen. Number two, when a tackle's being made, you've got to work hard to get in between ball carrier and their support player. Block the offload channel. Number three, Initial person make the hit, second person come in, smoke them, okay? Huge hit, knock them down. So here, poor attempt at a tackle, easy pass, and none of the offload channels are being blocked here, so easy for them to play here. Big man in the middle, easy, passes and plays. So here, great example of someone staying on his feet, doesn't want to make ground, he's going to just look for the offload. Perfect opportunity for this man here to get a highlight reel. Come in, smoke him, straight in his back. He's not even watching. Hit him, make the big hit. Because otherwise they just stay on their feet and try and play. Which just allows for easy tries. Same thing in the middle here. Easy offload, try. So key things for us to remember from kickoff. Think about our formation. Stop the easy play for them getting a tap back. Number two, when they go for a tackle, we've got to work on the floor. Push your hips back. Get the ball as close to our side as possible. Make them have to take a step if they want to jackal us. And then lastly, if they're going for the offloads, be dominant in the hit. Cover the passing and offload channels or look to make double hits. Three easy ways for us to play. Just be aware, the way the Samurai pretty much play, their tall big players are on the wings, who are really quick. The people in the middle, really good footwork and have a good distribution skills. So we've just got to be aware of that. Anyone in the middle is going to try and step you. So we put pressure on, but before we get too close, we slow down, chase our feet. So if they do step, we are still balanced, okay? Awesome. Uh, in terms of how we're going to play against their style and things like that, we're still going to look to play wide play our system. They're pretty passive in defense. They don't push up hard. So it's going to give us time to play, work hard, and play our system. They try and tackle high. So look to get a fend in and look to fend against their face. Okay. With the big ball carries that we have this weekend, Run some hard lines, okay? Get a one-on-one -on -one opportunity with their players. If they run at you high, you should be able to fend them straight off and bump them, okay? And that should be easy ways for us to get a bit of momentum and kill theirs. Boom. 